Are you new to Google Tag Manager? Well, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna show you what Google Tag Manager is all about and how you can use it. All the more, coming up. Hey there, Magic Geeks, Julian here, back with another video. Today, we are going to kick off our new GTM for Beginners series. And if you're new to Google Tag Manager, this will be perfect to get in touch with this awesome tool to deploy tracking onto your website as a marketer or somebody who runs their own website. So let's take a look at what Google Tag Manager is all about. Here we are inside of the Google Tag Manager interface, but before we get started with everything that's going on in here, let me show you a little example here. So oftentimes tools like Google Analytics or Facebook ask us to install some tracking code. And oftentimes they give us a little bit of JavaScript code and that, that is something we then need to install onto our website. So and actually into the code of our website. Google Analytics does the same. So here we have the global site tag that we need to install. And for that example, I have created a website right here. And if we look into our little tools that we have available inside of the Chrome extension store, you can see here that the global site tag is already installed and also the Facebook pixel. Now, when I right click and view page source, you can see where I've placed, placed these codes. So we have the little JavaScript code from Facebook here, and we also have the global site tag here from Google. Now, when we go back to the page and switch over to my second example here, we can see that we have a little slightly different interface here, but at the same time, we can look into our extension and we see we have the same codes installed right here and also a page view pixel for, from Facebook. But if we right click and view page source, we don't really see our different codes here anymore from Facebook, but rather a big Google Tag Manager snippet. And this is what the snippet is all about and Google Tag Manager really all about. It consolidates all our different tracking codes into a little tool called Google Tag Manager. And henceforth, we can deploy all our different tracking codes, also called tracking tags, through Google Tag Manager and this little snippet. So we don't really have to touch the code anymore and can dive into Google Tag Manager from now on. So what Google Tag Manager gives us is a central management interface, a interface that we can deploy our tracking tags through. So if I go over to tags here, we can see all of the different tags that we have installed and they're actually not code. There are tracking templates that you can install and can see on a visual interface how to configure them. So here we go, here we have our Facebook pixel and we just need to put on our Facebook pixel ID and henceforth, here are some more configurations, but at least we don't have to dig through the code anymore to make this actually work. And Google Tag Manager brings tons of more functionality into the system. We can actually go here to preview, which will put our browser and only our browser into a special mode that we can connect to our website. And once it's connected, we can actually see what tags are deployed on our page. So here we can see our Facebook pixel was deployed, our Google Analytics 4 tag. And if we jump around on the page itself, we should be able to see that this is installed on all the pages. So this preview mode can be quite handy when we want to debug tracking and find any errors in it or see what's going on under the hood. That is obviously far harder than trying to dig through the code here inside of our browser. Now, Google Tag Manager is obviously a management tool of tags, and here we can always get a great overview of what is actually installed on our website. We can give tags a name, we know which tag type it is, and then we have our fire and triggers. These tags all fire on a all pages trigger, which means this tag that we configured should deploy on all the pages. But Google Tag Manager is actually pretty great in handling any kind of exception. So if you only wanted to fire a tag on a special page or even on interactions. So let me take, take you through a little tag deployment here. Let's say we wanted to track if somebody clicks on this add to cart button. How would we be able to build that into Google Tag Manager? So first of all, let's go ahead and define the trigger. As I already said, we wanted to fire it on the add to cart button. 
So I'm gonna go over to triggers here, create a new trigger, which fires on a click event for our add to cart. And as the tank configurations, we can see all of the different events or interactions that you can track with Google Tag Manager, also like form submissions or scroll dev, but we'll go with the click all elements here. And then we go with some clicks because we don't want to fire it on all the clicks, but only where the click text contains add to cart. Let's save this. And now we have a trigger a rule prepared that we can attach to a marketing tag. So let's say we wanted to transfer that information over to Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on new and we have our Facebook pixel for our click and this will be add to cart. Well, actually let's call this event. And now we choose from our tools here and we have many different tools available, templates that let us just get and input the configurations of a tag rather than digging through code. So I'm gonna choose the Facebook pixel here and now I need my Facebook pixel ID. So let's go over to the ads manager here and copy my pixel ID. Paste that in here. And then as the event, this should be a, not a page view event, but an add to cart event. That's what I want to send over to Facebook. Now I just need to configure my trigger, which we have already prepared and click save. Now this is not yet installed on our website. We can actually control our tracking first and see what it does and how it behaves on our website by entering again our preview mode. So we'll connect to our website And let's go ahead and view this product again. And add this to cart. Now in our tag assistant, we should be able to find here in the stream of different interactions and the different events that happen, the click event. And here we go, our Facebook event pixel fired add to cart. Now we didn't quite test this yet. Let's go ahead and clear this activity and test this in our demo shop. So let me go ahead and add something again to the card. Let me reload this one first. And I'm gonna add to card again. Our tag assistant should show us that something has fired. Here we have our click and our Facebook event pixel fired. And then in our events manager, we see now an add to cart was sent over to Facebook. Since we have now shown that everything is working and our tracking deployment is something we want to bring live to the website, we can go ahead and publish a version because right now our tracking is not yet deployed on the website itself. It just works for our browser, which obviously is great for testing, but once it's time to go live, we also need to have a method to do this inside of Google Tag Manager. And there's a best practice of first testing your tracking and then deploying it on the website. So here we can go ahead and use the version control system to submit a version and give this a name. And then publish it live to the website. And henceforth, all the users who click on the add to cart button will be tracked via our implementation of the Facebook pixel. The great thing about this version control system is that at any point in time, you can actually go back to the old version if you find out that something is wrong with your tracking deployment, just like in a development cycle of a website. But obviously there is way more to Google Tag Manager than what we went through just now. And we'll go over this in the next lessons. But now, if you want to test what you have just learned, then head over to measureschool.com slash lesson one, where we have a little quiz prepared for you to test your knowledge. But if you can't wait and just want to get on with it, then click over here where you will find the next lesson where we go a little bit more into theory of how you can use your Google Tag Venture in your organization. Now, my name is Julian. 
Till next time.